my name is Paul Thompson. Um, I am the uh, director of the uh, Chopper Cobra, Cobri. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our summit today and uh, am looking forward to a uh, excellent uh, program of um, dis uh, talks and discussions and uh, as well as a number of posters which are displayed in the uh, uh, dining area. I wanted to begin with uh, just uh, a few definitions of terms because you'll probably hear these terms fairly frequently today and tomorrow and so I wanted to make sure that everybody was on the same page with us. Um, the COBRI Center for Biomedical Research Excellence. Uh, this is a, a granting mechanism uh, from uh, the uh, uh, federal government. Um, Chopper or Chopper is our uh, Center for Health Outcomes and Population Research and is the uh, host for this uh, summit today. Um, why is, uh, do we have this COBRI? Um, it's uh, primarily because we have uh, health disparities within the region, uh, both within the uh, American Indian population and within the uh, rural communities. The uh, COBRI is defined as a uh, granting mechanism for both American Indian and rural health research. Um, how does it work? Um, the NIH um, is, a, is the primary source of support for the COBRI and it, uh, it has granted us this um, grant to uh, basically allow for development of additional researchers and to promote research within the region. Our COBRI has just begun. Uh, the uh, uh, grant was finally grant, uh, given to us uh, in, at the end of the summer and so we're just just past the midpoint of year one. It's a five-year grant and it will be renewable. Um, our what we're looking for today and what we'll be discussing with our external advisory board later on today is um, how, how successful we've been to date um, in both supporting research, research, moving early career researchers to independence and producing scholarship. Um, we basically have uh, several components to the COBRI. Um, our uh, staff, our uh, supported researchers uh, have expertise in a variety of areas, public health, medicine, biostatistics, I'm a biostatistician myself, and uh, psychology, pediatrics, epidemiology. Uh, we have several cores within the COBRI to um, provide additional um, support and uh, expertise and uh, directed uh, help for our researchers and for others within the Sanford Research Group. We have a command core which uh, provides uh, essentially methodological and um, data management and data analysis expertise with a number of statisticians and data analysis, data collection specialists. Um, we also have a read core which uh, provides support for uh, ethics and dissemination as well as for uh, tribal IRBs and IRB uh, support in general. So uh, I hope that sort of gives you just a very, very brief introduction to uh, some of the structures of what's going on. Um, as I say, we're, um, we're, we're so delighted to see that you've, you've come um, dodging the uh, snow plows, the um, uh, snow, the uh, various hungry birds and so forth and so on. And uh, with the, with the sh certain knowledge that we've got more snow coming, I uh, welcome you again. Thank you, Paul. And yes, we are, we're hoping the forecast is, is wrong for once, uh, but the show will go on and we are so excited to see you here today and we'll have a great couple of days. And so my name is Danielle Beatty Kenyon and I'm the Collaborative Research Center for American Indian Health PI. And I'll go quickly because this is the sixth annual summit for Kirka. And so our goals are more familiar, as many of you know. Um, we were funded in 2012 through National Institutes of Health, um, through the National Institute of Minority Health and Health Disparities, um, through a very generous U54 grant. And the goals were really twofold, to build tribal infrastructure for research and to increase the amount of research in social determinants of health in American Indian health. 
So we achieved these goals through funding tribal partners to work um, on their building their research infrastructure. So these are our five current tribal partners where you'll hear a lot from them today in posters and their panel presentation and in their really um, hands-on workshop this evening. We also funded three large research projects and 15 pilot grants. And these are the locations throughout the tri-state area which these pilot and research grants um, have, have sites. So the cores uh, help build capacity for these activities. And the research projects have officially wrapped up and they're working to keep publishing and building on that work in the next year. And the cores will be working on strategic planning and goals with the tribal partners. We are very proud of our past summits. Again, this is our sixth year, and we've had amazing knowledge shared across the years. Because Kirka is a regional center, we've moved the conference around to engage new stakeholders throughout North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. So we hope that you find this conference raises the bar as in, um, and in new ways as we join with the Chopper Cobri that Paul just talked about to expand to include a focus um, not only on American Indian health, but rural health as well. And we know that there are many additional challenges to health um, with the tribal partners that we work with because most of them are rural, such as social determinants of health um, as uh, access to health care. So this summit's theme this year, Finding Your Narrative, is very special to us. In Kirka's Executive Advisory Board meeting last year, we discussed our struggles of articulating all the wonderful things that have been accomplished through Kirka. One of our beloved members and previous summit keynote speakers, Malia Villega, simply and brilliantly stated that we needed to find our narrative, to find the story in our work to best reach others in, with a message. So this is where we took our inspiration for the content and structure of the summit that you will hopefully enjoy over the next two days. I wanted to do a brief overview and of the basic structure of the summit. And please know this event would not have happened without our amazing planning committee. And special props to Jessica Heinzman, who led this effort, Gazeen Seabarth, Melissa Buffalo, Michaela Sieber, and team of volunteers that you'll see in Navy, Sanford Research, and Kirkus shirts. So if you see them around, please um, ask them. They are happy to help you. And also the folks at the registration table. So over the next two days, we have four plenary talks in American Indian and Rural Health. Three are from our COBRI EAB members. We have flash talks, just a big, a little preview from the four COBRI project leads, Drs. Grice, Hansen, Deutsch, and myself. And we have a highlight from the Kirka Culture Science and Bioethics Corps, which is our National Congress of American Indians Policy Research Center, and they're also holding a workshop um, tomorrow afternoon. Today, there's a poster session over lunch where you'll get to network and hear about all the wonderful research that's going on in the region from partners all over, and a performance by Jackie Bird that we're very excited about. As I mentioned, our tribal partners um, will have a poster presentation, a panel this afternoon, and if you're interested in the working details of how you build a tribal IRB, which is good for both researchers and um, tribal members looking to build their own, this, that workshop will be this evening. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll close with presentations from our final round of pilot grantees to wonderful projects. So as always, as you'll hear across the next two days, uh, we encourage you to check out our website um, that we've been building over the past six years. There's links to resources and trainings, uh, such as toolkits. You can connect and subscribe to the listserv and connect with others. Watching the previous summit presentations, Kirka videos and blog, and so you'll see um, online, and we'll, we'll have folks uh, blogging about the presentations this these next two days, and then a tab for the new Chopper Cobri as well. So you see, we try to brand ourselves with these colors, the color scheme and the, the Cobri is blue. Uh, so we wanted to build on the wonderful foundation of, of the um, Kirka website and disseminating this information to others. So with the recent changes of Dr. Elliott leaving as Kirka PI, we have all been reflecting on all of our past successes. With the large NIH grant coming to a close in the next year, um, and although NIH will not be offering the same grant mechanism again, we feel it's very important to message that Kirka as a center will not end. 
There is a true value in building the collaborative network of people and staying connected to one another and holding conversations about how we can continue working toward the improvement of American Indian health. We will continue to be an umbrella for partnerships for years to come. We will we'll maintain our clearinghouse for information and dissemination on research for a social determinants of health in American Indian health. And although sometimes it can be a challenge to find time to focus without monetary resources, so many good things have been built to let them go by the wayside. So we've got so many great things on the horizon. We have multiple publications under review. We'll be working on a special issue of American Indian Alaska Native Mental Health Research. And we'll continue strategic planning for new grants to fund this important work, including building tribal infrastructure for research with a growing focus on data management. So I trust and hope that you will find the 2018 Population Health Summit as a place for sharing, creating new memories, and storytelling is really critical to that. So I want to leave you with um, an anonymous quote to inspire and keep you motivated throughout the next two days to applying this to your work. Um, as I read, there are two ways to share knowledge. You can push the information out or you can pull them in with a story. So hopefully this next two days, we can learn how to better pull people in to hear our message with a story. 